we talk a lot about uh, sustainable onion production, um, doing things more regeneratively in the field, but we're taking this a step further this year and we are working on actually producing onion seed more sustainably and using regenerative methods as we're growing in the field. So as you can see behind me, um, these are all um, onion plots for actual seed production. Um, and this is an act, th these are actual plots for onion seed development with a uh, breeding company where they're developing varieties and all this stuff along the way. So super cool opportunity. We're gonna bring in the expert on uh, the onion breeding side and he's gonna talk a little bit more about what they're doing at this company and give you guys some awesome information. All right, guys, my name is Ryan Johnson. I am the long day onion breeder with Kirkham Company. We're standing out here. It's a beautiful day today. One of the first nice, really nice spring days we've had so far. So as you can see behind me, we're standing in our uh, onion seed cage nursery. And these onions are actually overwinter onions. So these were actually planted last July. If you look closely at them, you can notice a lot of tip burn and stuff that you'd typically see with the herbicide application, but this is pretty typical of, you know, just that what happens when these onions with, uh, withstand all the elements that the Idaho winter throws at them. So they're actually just finally starting to break some dormancy here in about another week. We'll be able to see, start seeing some really green, fresh shoots coming up through, through the necks on these things. Um, along with that, Along with the overwinter cages, we're just starting to plant our bulb to seed cages, which will be in this part of the nursery. You can see all the flagging we have out here. And basically what that looks like is we're actually planting onion bulbs. They'll go in the ground right now. And by July, they'll present a nice seed stock. And on top of that seed stock, hopefully will be a big umbel, which is the onion flower full of seeds. And that seed is the seed that we use at Crookums to create the hybrid onions that hopefully someday will end up in the grocery stores that you'll be eating. So we're over here uh, in our bulb to seed section. So bulb to seed meaning we are actually planting bulbs, onion bulbs in the ground and they will grow, produce a seed stock and produce seed, which is the crazy thing about an onion is you can propagate seed several different ways so as you can see here if we can get down in here we have actual onion bulbs that we have cut in half at our sorting facility and cutting these in half actually serves a dual purpose one it initiates that bulb to enter into a vegetative state or a reproductive state excuse me so it'll start producing a seed stem um, because it's basically putting an injury into that bulb. And another reason that we like cutting our bulbs in half is to check for single centered onions. Single centeredness is pretty important in today's world because today's farmers want a versatile onion bulb. So whether they want to send it to a ringer, a processor or fresh market, they need to have those options and single centered onions is what the market demands right now. So that's what we strive at Crookums to produce for the consumer. Okay. So over the next two to three weeks, you're gonna see a huge amount of change out here. So these onions start growing really rapidly once they're cut, um, they'll start producing that seed stock pretty much immediately within a couple weeks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over to our facility and let you guys check out uh, how exactly these onions go from point A to point B out here and uh, we'll meet you in there. 